All right, welcome back to Teaching Orchestra. We're back in the lab and we've done all of our staging. We've done our finger rolls, we've done our finger flexors, we've done our pull-ups, we've done our finger tappers, and now we're ready to try to put everything together. We put everything together, we wanna to move the whole hand like a wheel. What does that mean? Well, when you look at a wheel, you know, you see the center lock nut, maybe if you've got a center lock nut, I don't know, maybe they're just lug nuts, and then you've got the rims of the, of the tire, and then you've got the rubber on the wheel, and it all sort of moves together. You don't have the lug nuts moving independently from the rubber and all this other stuff. I mean, sometimes you'll see those spinners, you know, but that's not the kind of vibrato we want. We don't want the spinner vibrato. Uh, we just want everything to move together and coordinate it together. And that's what we're going to be developing. Now, when we first start learning vibrato within the whole hand, I recommend that for the upper strings that we start in fifth position where the heel is all the way up, and then we can put down our, our second finger. The reason why I like to do it this way is because it isolates this part of the hand and it isolates the wrists and everything down so that we don't see floppy wrists and everything and it just gets them comfortable moving parallel to the string. So that's what we're gonna try first. Everybody up in the playing position. Violin's heel is shift all the way up until our heel of the hand is on the violin or viola on the upper bow. Now I want you to use second finger on your D string. Chose we can be in first position, that's fine. That's no big deal. Okay, and we're going to move the whole hand like a wheel. Okay, so we're just going to go to the bridge, pegs, bridge, pegs, bridge, pegs, bridge, pegs, trying to move parallel to the string. Okay, try to get the, the whole hand up here, and then when you, you vibrate, try to vibrate this way. Does that make sense? Yeah, good. Not as useful for you guys. Um, but then again, you know, cellos and basses typically have an easier time with vibrato uh, because. Um, you know, their thumbs are at a different angle, it's a lot more ergonomic. The issues that they tend to have usually are with the thumb, with the, and so that's why we do the thumb flappers, okay? So, let's try some peer coaching. Let's um, have odd, even, odd, even, odd. We're gonna have our odd players go first, okay? And this is what you're gonna be looking for. We're gonna be, I, I want you guys to stay in, in fifth position here, and I want you to, um, but I still want you to make sure that the wrist is isolated. I don't want to see floppy wrists. I want to see tabletops, okay? Uh, Chose, I want to see good thumb positions from you guys for sure. I don't want to see the thumb moving or rotating and looking like a, a little earthworm crawling through the mud, okay? And I also want to see you guys stay with tempo, okay? Let's have the odd players go first. Ready? Two, and set, and go, and Bridge pegs, 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 bridge pegs. All right, talk about it. Okay, let's try it again. Try to improve just a little bit. Ready? Two and set. And go and bridge, pegs, 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 bridge, pegs. All right, final comments. If you need more of a challenge for your cellos and bass players, what you can do is have them start to remove the thumb and see if the thumb is moving around as they remove the thumb when they're vibrating and placing the thumb back. So they're vibrating, can they vibrate and keep the thumb stationary? It just helps them get sort of an awareness of what this part of the hand is doing for your cellos and bass players. Now, ultimately, your cellos and bass players are probably, especially your bass players are gonna be using more arm motion, more of an arm vibrato uh, than the upper strings are, but it's still a good idea to create that awareness. All right, let's flip it around. And now the even players are gonna try it. Ready? And set and go and bridge pegs, 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 bridge pegs. All right, talk about it. What do you see? All right, wrap it up. Alright, try it again. Pick one or two things that you heard and try to make them a little bit better. Ready? 
two, and set, and go. And bridge, pegs, 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 bridge, pegs. All right, final comments. Try to find something positive they're doing. And again, it's important to stage all the way up to this point. When you're observing your class, try to see the things that they're having trouble with. Is it the fingers collapsing? Is it the wrist moving around? What is it? And then go back to those exercises specifically and build all the way up to wrist vibrato instead of you know, just doing the wrong technique over and over again. Figure out what's breaking down the process and then put it back together with the right parts. So we hope you enjoyed this video series and we hope that your orchestra has great vibrato.